Well, this morning, remnants of what was Hurricane Florence are still causing problems, sending heavy rain into parts of the Northeast. But in the Carolinas and Virginia, the storm is now being blamed for at least 32 deaths. As Laura Podesta explains, rivers are still rising there, and many towns remain underwater. An apparent tornado ravaged buildings and homes in Virginia. The latest problem in the wake of Hurricane Florence. One person died and another was injured when this warehouse collapsed. There were plenty of people that were in this warehouse and building working and uh, we didn't have any more uh, injuries or, or, or deaths. A handful of possible tornadoes also struck North Carolina yesterday. We thought Florence was gone. We thought she was gone. Residents throughout the Carolinas are still dealing with historic flooding, and it's only getting worse with some rivers still rising. I didn't pay any attention to the, uh, the evacuation thing yesterday because I wanted to stay. I didn't believe it would make it, but it did. But inside my house was about five feet this morning. Everything is downstairs ruined. Economists at Moody's Analytics estimate Florence may end up as one of the top 10 costliest hurricanes to hit the U.S., with 17 to 22 billion dollars in property damage, maybe more. Farms in eastern North Carolina. Larry Baldwin is with the North Carolina Environmental Group. He flew over flooded areas to assess the farmland. The situation is not good, but it's likely to get much worse throughout the rest of the week as these waters start to get to their, their flood levels. The city of Wilmington is handing out 60,000 packaged meals this morning to residents still trapped by flooded roads. Laura Podesta, CBS News.